you found the proper spot to begin planning the foundation of your landscape. Whether you're an experienced gardener with specialized needs or a beginner who just wants to get their hands dirty. Our recommended ground cover plants come in a wide range of colors and textures and have been tried and tested in a variety of settings, from urban balconies to traditional English gardens. You can find out by adding one of these lovely ground cover plants to your outdoor area. Number one, alyssum. You can use white alyssum to fill in the spaces in your garden that aren't already occupied by other plants and flowers. For many climates, particularly those with high temperatures and or drought, it is a no-brainer. If you want your flowers to keep blooming without any maintenance, consider this plant. Optimal for use in USDA hardiness zones seven through 11. Number two, ice plant. These heat-loving perennials are native to South Africa and despite their showy appearance, do best with minimal care. They are excellent for use as a ground cover, border, or container plant due to their rapid growth rate and continual blooming of colorful, daisy-like flowers. The butterfly, bee, and other beneficial pollinators will be drawn to these flowering carpets and the deer won't eat them. The hardiness zones for ice plants are from five to nine. Number three, black mondo grass. Perhaps you wouldn't normally choose black grass, but after witnessing its stunning beauty, you might reconsider. Planting lime green foliage surrounding it not only makes the black grass stand out more, but also makes the green foliage appear more vibrant. As an evergreen perennial, they can still provide visual appeal in the dead of winter. Suitable for plant hardiness zones six to 10. Number four, Liriope. Liriope is actually a member of the asparagus family, despite its grass-like appearance. As a ground cover, it can hold soil in place, act as an edging plant, and suppress weed growth. If you have access to a nursery, you can plant Liriope from a plant or a division at any time of year. In USDA hardiness zones six to 10. Number five, Lily of the Valley. The extensive root system of Lily of the Valley makes it an ideal ground cover for shady areas. Shaded or partially shaded areas under trees or bushes steep banks and uneven terrain that make it difficult to handle a lawnmower. And abandoned lots where little else will grow are all good candidates for new plantings. The hardiness zones for Lily of the Valley are two through nine. Number six, spotted dead nettle. The spotted dead nettle or Lamia maculatum thrives in either full shade or partial shade making it an excellent choice for use in partially shaded or fully shaded parts of your garden. Several cultivars of this low-growing ground cover feature a rainbow of leaf colors. Dead nettle or spotted dead nettle can be grown in zones three through nine. Number seven, creeping flocks. Lovely ground covers, creeping flocks can spread up to two feet in width and six inches in height when fully mature. This low-growing, spreading plant becomes a dense mat in the spring and is absolutely covered in flowers. The evergreen shrubbery is dense with dark green leaves that are narrow and small. The hardiness zone range for creeping flocks is from three to nine. Number eight, lamb's ear. This plant, a relative of mint, also known as woolly hedge nettle, has beautiful silvery leaves that remain luxuriant throughout the year. The springtime purple blossoms are lovely as well. Optimal for plants in hardiness zones four to nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. 
You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.